joining us today here. So we heard about the protests which are taking place here from the families who have waiting for a long time to get their land back who have been displaced for a very long time. So we have stopped here to meet the families. As you know, the Amnesty International is a international organization working on human rights. We have been following the situation in Sri Lanka for many years now and we are very concerned that the victims um, of human rights violations, Sri Lanka has seen very grave human rights violations and we are very concerned that the victims have been waiting for a long time for justice and that justice is still not coming, uh, particularly in the northern part of the country but in fact it's across the country and uh, particularly for Tamils but not just the Tamil population. Unfortunately, the human rights violations have affected all sections of the Sri Lankan uh, community. So, uh, my visit as the Secretary General of Amnesty International to Sri Lanka now is to call on the government of Sri Lanka to keep up its promises. As you know, they had the consultation task force. They have also made commitments to the Human Rights Council. Unfortunately, the reality on the ground is that many of these promises are not being kept. So we are here to call on the government. So I met with the Prime Minister, I met with the Foreign Minister and other government officials to tell them that the victims, like the communities here, have been waiting for a long time, for now many, many years for justice, and they're still not seeing it. And also there are no interim measures in place. For example, these communities here, who have been pushed out of their lands are not being given any alternative lands. So even their livelihoods uh, are at risk and they are uh, facing daily suffering uh, because of the uncertainty and the situation. Because this community here, we were just being told, uh, are unable to get their land because the naval base is here, because this is seen as a, a training uh, base and so this is a security issue for the country. But what about the security of the people? Some communities and of the women. I mean, we heard the women speaking just now. Uh, you know, it affects women, it affects children. So, uh, we believe that Sri Lanka can only become stronger and more stable if it addresses the issue of past violations, if it gives justice to the communities on the ground, particularly. In the so, uh, very practically, there are concrete things we are demanding from the government. Uh, they have made a promise to have an office of the missing persons, an office for reparations, but none of that has happened so far. Uh, they have promised to make sure that the issue of the disappearances are dealt with. Uh, they have ratified the international convention, but the national law to criminalize disappearances has still not come into place. We have, still have the Prevention of Terrorism Act, which has to be repealed. So, it's not just a matter of going to Geneva and making promises. Uh, they have to deliver. The National is committed to monitoring and tracking uh, whether or not the government is keeping its promises. So, that's why we're here and we will continue to keep a very close eye on the delivery of the promises that have been made by the government. As you know, the, there are tens of thousands of people who submitted their demands to the consultation task force. The government has to not just listen to the recommendations and outcomes of the consultation task force, they have to actually implement it. So, so that's what we're here for. Um, and uh, we will be visiting other parts of the country as well, of the north. in Jaffna of the, of the Northern Province. So, uh, but we will be hearing so thank you very much. We are, we are here primarily on the ground to show our solidarity with the communities here who have been suffering a great deal. Amnesty International is a movement of people across the world. There are more than 7 million people who make up Amnesty International and we are here to tell the communities that uh, the entire global movement of Amnesty International stands behind the people who are protesting. It's very important that people have the right to peaceful protest. So it's important that the government uh, allows for this uh, expression of uh, anger against injustice to come out in a very clear way. And um, it's very important that the press and the media have full freedom to report on these things. And uh, we are very proud of the fact that the women are leading this protest. I think it's an excellent example of how the Sri Lankan government should listen to the women and their voices. So thank you very much for joining us today. And, uh, keep up with